We're here today with Luke Wood, IFBB Pro. Biggest legs in Australia, possibly the biggest neck. We're gonna do a shoulder workout with Luke. How are you, son? Good, mate. Yeah, ready for some action? Yep. We're gonna show you guys at home how, how to do your shoulders properly, how to complete your full range of motion, how to target them from every single angle. We'll start off with a shoulder press. We're on the Hammer Strength Shoulder Machine. Fantastic, if you're lucky enough to have one of these in your gym, use it, use it, use it, use it. It's a beautiful machine. You see Luke's pressing all the way down, all the way up. The only way we can improve there is possibly to turn your elbows slightly forward to keep them under the weight and drive up like that. Luke could literally throw that up on the roof machine and all, but you'll see he's just getting a little bit more squirt now with each rep. He's really pushing him through the full range of motion. He's pausing at the top to make sure his shoulders are flexing. And that is a perfect shoulder press, folks. Our next exercise is dumbbell presses. Just a variation of the shoulder press, which you can do with a barbell. There is some de debate as to whether to do a barbell in front or behind the neck. We like to do dumbbells, and that way you're getting them right in the middle. Basically, they're in line with your chin and your ears. They're not in front or behind. This is a true shoulder press. The other thing is you're getting an arc at the top when the dumbbells push together, which is a true movement. Gives your shoulders a full range of motion and flexes them at the top of the movement. You see Luke pauses at the top, makes sure his shoulders are pressing out. <clears throat> and the other thing he does is go right down at the bottom of the movement. Right down, we'll do one more, and that's a good warm up for the dumbbell shoulder press. We'll get some big dumbbells out now and really work them. Right, now we're going to do some big ones. 100 pound dumbbells. And Luke's chucking them around like this. 20 pound. They're 100 pound bits, folks. This is not even a working weight for Luke. This is just for our demo for the, for the TV show. And you see absolutely powers out of the bottom of those. Touches them at the top. Good set, Luke. We're going to show you how to do side raises, folks. You've got to be strict with these. This is not an exercise where we want to see you throwing around and swinging your body. In fact, sit down on the end of a bench, be honest with yourself, and find out how to do them properly. Let's go, Luke. Now, you see the most important thing here is that when Luke gets to the top, his elbows are up as high as his shoulders. All right? That's the proper form. Now, I'm going to pause you at the top, Luke. Have a look at that. It's a straight line between his wrists, his elbows, and his shoulders. And again, you can even pause it there for a sec, folks. Look at his shoulders sticking up. This totally works. The lateral head or the side head of your shoulders. Here we go, nice and high, a slight pause and you turn your hands slightly as you come up. One of the things we see, we'll do it without the weights, is that when people get up to the top of the movement quite often, their hands are up like that. We don't want that. We want, just roll that, we want your wrist, your elbow and your shoulder all in a straight line at the top of the movement. If you're not feeling that, then you're not gonna get this shoulder sitting up like that. I'll show you just what I mean. See when Luke turns his hand up that way? It's gone. We're trying to work this middle part of the shoulder and when your elbow's high and your wrist is turned, automatically flexes that muscle. There's no other way to do it. So don't hit yourself with big weights. This is a very, very specific exercise. You should be using light weights until you feel your shoulders getting wider. The third part of your shoulders is to train the rear part of your shoulder. We've done the front, we've done the side. Now we're gonna attack the big rear part which balances your shoulders out. And incidentally, it gives you great posture. Pro bodybuilding, you can't be without rear delts. You've gotta have a balanced shoulder. Luke's gonna show you how he built these and how you can do these your your local gym. Now the most important thing is that as you go back, your shoulder, your elbow and your wrist are all in one straight line. We don't want pulling back at that angle, but he keeps his head down low, it's nice and wide with him and always with his elbows forward. We're here with Luke Wood and we've finished our shoulder workout. How are you feeling big fella? Bit you alright? Bit, bit tired? Bit pumped? Bit pumped? Can we have a look at those muscles Luke? Let's get the kit off. Let's get the Maxis shirt off. We've got one, two and three. That's your front head, your side or your lateral head and your rear or your posterior head. Now, our front presses, both dumbbell and the machine presses work this one. Your side raises or your lateral raises work this one here. And right down here, this one is your rear delts, which was our bent over rear deltoid raises. When we did our traps, we were trying to aim and shoot down here at the bottom part of the traps. Luke, that was a great workout, mate. Well done, Luke, and all the best.